Franklin Pierce had not sought to run for president, but was a compromise candidate when the Democratic convention was deadlocked. When inaugurated, he was the youngest president. In his inaugural address, he spoke about the importance of the union. I believe that involuntary servitude, as it exists in different states of this Confederacy, is recognized by the Constitution. I believe that it stands like any other admitted right, and that the states where it exists are entitled to efficient remedies to enforce the constitutional provisions. I fervently hope that the question is at rest and that no sectional or ambitious or fanatical excitement may again threaten the durability of our institutions or obscure the light of our prosperity. Pierce was successful in gaining parts of Arizona and New Mexico from Mexico as part of the Gadsden Purchase. He tried to acquire Cuba from Spain but did not succeed. Pierce was a supporter of the Kansas-Nebraska Act, which led to the violence that became known as Bloody Kansas. Pierce developed a reputation as a drunkard and was not renominated by his party, the first president to seek re-election and not nominated by his party.